The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow Industrials up 326, NASDAQ up 142, S&P's up 32, gold contract up $2.80 at 1345. Now, you know, last week we go higher at gold, gave it up on price, higher on gold today, gave it up on price. But guess what, folks? You got an ABC structure on the way up. Both times, monster volume. This thing is not going to die on the vine. Silver, silver's up seven cents, fourteen dollars and ninety cents. You get light sweet crude up a buck seventeen, fifty-three dollars and ten cents. Notes and bonds, same situation. We have the ten-year note up three ticks, one twenty-seven fourteen. The thirty-year up nine ticks at one fifty-four thirty. If you get over and take a look at this uh, ten-year, what you're going to see, it just blew away its high. You're going to have volume behind the move. Yeah, guess what? Volatility's out here in spades, but we are going. Higher in price, lower in yield. And King Dollar, King Dollar just won't give it up. Uh, King Dollar has the volume, 163 ticks higher, 97,210. The euro is at 111. The yen is trading at a 108, and the pound is at 125. And we got a market, man. We got a lot of happening. In we this got a market, lot happening, man. man. We sure do. That's a beautiful thing. That's right. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think or swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Don't forget, folks, if you want to understand option, option strategies, Futures, great program, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. And bottom line is that now we're talking micro S&Ps, E-minis. When the right. E-mini first come out, now we get E-mini, E-minis. <laughs> Kevin Hicks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Hey, wait a minute. The first day of a Fed meeting is supposed to be a lazy, no-news, calm trading day. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, Dra Draghi took the... The deal. Yeah. He, he stole it away from Powell, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? he did. He's talking in Portugal, and he said, you want to go dovish, uh, Jerome Powell? I'll show you dovish. <laughs> Seriously. And so he, he just went full. Again, he he basically reiterated, we'll do whatever it takes. Yes. Right? He said he saw some lingering softness in the short term, and he basically said they would announce further stimulus if any – uh, you know, any strength deteriorates. Yeah. So there, there. He just went full in there's on no, their economy as well. So there's, there's no doubt. And you know, I was thinking the same thing, Kevin, because I was sitting there writing the newsletter this morning when this happened. I look, I said, "Whoa, look at this!" Sure. I mean, the you know, the Fed's meeting, but God, they're out and, and ahead of us. That's no doubt. Yeah. And you know, if you look that at, man does love to make a headline, doesn't he? Oh yeah, oh yeah, big time. And France. You know, that 10-year, you know, right now it's at 0 0.02 for the 10-year. Um, it has about as flat as you can get uh, yeah. without going negative, you know? So they've got plenty of room on the downside there. Oh, <laughs> 0 0.01, it's coming, yeah. 0 0.01. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of, it's amazing. But, uh, hey, Mario Draghi, like I said, he, he, you know, he knew the Fed meeting started today. Sure. He knew they're going to make some announcement tomorrow. And, and he, he spoke at their conference at the ECB forum, and he basically, you know, he made his, he stated his claim, basically. No doubt. And, you know, uh, hey, can we talk a little, you know, I, 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 and folks, if you haven't test driven yet the Think of Swim platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team every trading day. You know, because what we have now is that we are going to have micro E-minis, Kevin. Right. Yeah. So Exactly. It's a new product from the CME that is really, in all honesty, has caught fire. Yeah. The minute it started trading, people are really attracted to it and and i'll give the cme a bunch of credit they've done it really well because they've made them fungible between the little contract and the big one huge so yeah that's huge is right yeah, because so you can trade you know that allows you to really pinpoint your delta 
if you're hedging an account or hedging a portfolio or just trading the market in direction, it allows the retail trader to trade a much smaller delta. So uh, yeah, it's it's significant and it's one it's here to stay. It's not this is not a flash in the pan. The the retail trader is going to love this. No, there's no doubt. Uh, well, you, you know it was wild, Kevin. So yesterday, um, I think I got the, the the email from TD on Friday. Um, I sent that to you yesterday, yes. right? So what ended up happening, I said to Tommy, right? I says, look at this. I says, you know, what happens, folks, is that you, you, you put up $693. That was the first day. And you're leveraging 14 grand. And, you know, I'm saying, wow, that's, that's only a small E-mini. But then Tommy goes back and does the beginning of when the S&P's the, the first yeah, e -mini the original started. e mini when yeah. they came out with it had a notional value I think of like forty three thousand or something. So right. you can see it's accelerated now. It's like one hundred and forty thousand yeah. or something. Um, so the micro e mini is only like a third of what the original e mini I, was, yep. as in it's come so far. So they're they're pricing it back, almost like a reverse splitter. You know, a no, split. A split. Yeah, and, and really, Tommy. In a lot of ways, that's kind of what the effect is. Yes. Right? Except for the delta. You know, it wouldn't be a, if, if they split it, if they split the E-mini, the Delta okay. would stay the same. Nice. But that, that being said, yeah, this is just a smaller Delta. It's a fraction of the large E-mini. Right. So, right. and it's not, you know, two to one. It's, I, I believe it's five to one. So uh, that's the way they, they, they trade it. And it's just an ability for the retail trader to trade a smaller net delta. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. I, there's, you can see, once I really got to understand, you know, well, in general, I knew it was good. But right. I was cracking up that, yeah, in three, in three years, guess what? You know, as long as we keep going, then, then it's going to be just like a regular, regular deal. The original e yeah. mini, right? right. Yeah. And it, it does make sense because you'll bring in a lot more traders with that, man. There's, yeah. there's no doubt. You know, Absolutely, because remember, everyone's looking for the best bang for their buck. Right. And the best bang for your buck is to put up the least amount of money to trade the most amount of, of notional value. And, you know, E-mini futures do that for you. And the, the mini E-mini or the micro E-mini, that's going to give you even more leverage for your dollar. So, yeah, it's going to be popular. It already is, frankly. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta love it. Speaking of leverage of the dollar, what about the Facebook? What is it, the Libra? Oh, yeah. What are they, what are they the called? Libra. The Libra. We're, yeah. we're done with the dollar. It's all about the Libra, man. Oh, my God. Pretty interesting. Several things are interesting about this. Number one, Facebook, for, you know, for something that they invented and they created, they are really taking a hands-off approach to who, who owns and who governs it, right? Their one vote of all the people that are in on this, and it's, you know, basically 28 members had to put up $10 million. Yeah. And, you know, they have Visa and PayPal, they have Uber and eBay and Lyft and Spotify, they have a bunch of venture capital firms. So um, this is gonna be interesting. And, and you see, you know, the magic word in so many of these trades is crypto. Sure, and yeah. you see what Facebook has done now that they've mentioned this crypto. And really, for, your your viewers and, and and listeners, all it is, it lets you buy things and it lets you send money to other people, and it links 2.7 billion users of Facebook with right. 90 million companies. Right, and and you know what, folks? What they'll do, they'll put advertising around this whole thing. They don't even have to make money in the crypto. They, right. they just wanted this to be a platform and, you know, bang, you get advertising around the whole thing, right? That's amazing. So six days ago, it was at like 172. It's at 192. It's like 10%. You're talking about $50 billion in market cap. It just added in four or five trading days, basically on that, yeah. Massive. Massive. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks so much, Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the Taz Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the Taz Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the Taz Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up uh, 300. Nasdaq's up 137. S&Ps are up uh, 31. And I uh, heard uh, you in that uh, update, Beyond Meat. i got to look and it see don't where this stop, is. It does stop, man. What is, <laughs> what is the short percent take? It, we'll pull up everything. But um, oh my God. it was at, yeah, it was at 2, 201. 201. It might have even been higher pre-market. I mean, that's staggering. I think it reached 202. Because um, it's, 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 whoops. Did I get there? Uh, yeah, 202.80 at uh, 7 in the morning, jumping back. I mean, just remarkable, right? I mean, quite a pullback, though, man. You just lost 10%. I mean, just 10%. It's still up, but... 46.18%. What's the PE? Oh, it's not available because this company is not even making right. money. <laughs> so, so picture this. You know, what had happened here, folks, is that when this actually... I, I remember this. When it went to 184, the... Shot interest didn't go down, it went up. So whoever was shot actually went shot more. And now it's like, oh, my God. If you, know. you like to short it at 100, you're going to love to short it at 178, right? That's yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the like, truth, right? It's, it's, it is, it is. Unfortunately, but, uh, hey, you might have just got blown out of the water this morning on that, uh, that puff. That's where, you know, risk allocation, because you can always be right. But guess what? You're going to be wrong. And so if, oh, you, yeah. if you like shorting it at 100, you're going to love shorting it at 178. But... Do you want to lose your entire bankroll on Seriously, um, man. a short? Yeah, right. <laughs> so Gold. Let's, let's look at this contract. So we get the volatility. You get the, the volume. Bottom line, folks, you're still in an ABC up to 1401. So what we had out here, here's your, your first surge forward. That was on the 14th of June, flag day. 358,000 contracts. You're taking out 331. Um, today, you're going to have it. 257, you, you get up and over it again. And right now we're under it. Uh, that's the number of uh, 1352. 
You know, what will be interesting, too, is that we're going to get a lot of volume tomorrow with yeah. the Fed decision. So yeah. we'll, you know, we'll have some volume today. We'll have some volume the tomorrow. The weekly volumes yeah. are huge. And, and depending on which way it moves tomorrow, um, that may be the real day to see whether it goes you know, higher from here, back yep. up to that 1362, or whether it trades lower, it's depending smoked. on what, what the Fed says. Right? right. And Either way, I imagine, look for some volume tomorrow. Big time. Now, if we go to the 10-year, it's the same setup, folks. It's pretty cool. So the 10-year, what this just did... You got 1.2 million contracts. You need 1.8 for an ABC structure up. Okay. We're going to get it. Yeah, you know? big so day in This, this is going to be a complex uh, ABC, regardless of how the market pull back ASAP on the news that... Uh, One more time. ...that uh, Trump would meet Z um, yes. and talk with them. We almost had a one-handle on the tenure. Oh, I know. Which is remarkable. Yeah, 2.01 and change. Right. So. It says 2.06 oh, right. as we, way, as we right. pull it yep. up. I, that's yep. just, that's right. I think that probably recalibrates once a day or something like that um, because we're at 2.01 and change. And then we jump to about 2.7 instantly this, when on, you see, on that news. Yeah, when you see this chart, this is quite a spike. Maybe, I'll, do, I'll do it intraday for I'll just do it IGPO, intraday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so we get down to the 2.0, yeah, 0148. Yeah. And right now at 2.664. And it, it had jumped a little bit already. This is the jump on the Trump presidency. I got it. Okay. So we had, we had, you know, already jumped, which it's not a small amount, two, three tenths, uh, two, 0 0.03, 0 0.02 um, from that low. But things really, so that's the 930 bar. These are 10 minute bars that yeah. tweet at 939. So this bar had a minute of action after that news was out and uh, just continued. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the silver market. Uh, a couple of tigers saying silver's catching a bid here. Yeah. That's really good news. Uh, yeah, it's been struggling. Okay, so you got it up 10 cents. Six, there's going to be the, the volume's going to be here. 63,000 contracts is big volume at this time of the day. So we're coming into, uh, it's 105, we'll do that, and we'll do 113. Yeah, this is good. Can we compare that to gold? I'm always curious, since we pulled up that yeah. chart of a couple years ago with how much they differ, even, even right. this year. Uh, what, what's the gold contract? G uh, GC. GC, what number are we at? We probably should do both of them well, as... We can, uh, we can do Yeah, you can, we can yeah, do the active, because yeah, it's going right, to compare both. Right. Uh, I'm just always... So... The gold is the gold, the white's the silver, yeah. and uh, this is just going back to the January and still quite a divergent, a divergence, as in silver would have to be up there almost 80 cents higher to be on par right. with gold, where gold is trading, yeah. and um, if gold it, was trading you know, on par with silver, you would have to have gold down here at uh, 1270, 1260. Um, just huge divergences when you think about it. You know, if you said there's, gold's at 1260, no doubt. you'd be like, whoa, what's wrong with it, right? right. Well, that's how silver's trading. Oh, I know. You know? Oh, it's, and it's been trading, and the silver equities it, it, haven't been trading that great either. It has, and that's if people weren't watching, backing it up even a couple of years. Um, so you can really see the difference going yeah. back. And this gets weird with the active contracts, well, but it's close enough, all right? right. For, as in silver would have to be up at almost $17.50, $2.50 lower, or gold would be down at 1150 and that's going back two years. Yes. Yeah. Now, well, it's going to get intriguing here, folks. It looks to me like the, the copper contract is off its lows. Let's pull up copper for a second because this is going to be important. HGN, HGN9. So, yeah, look, at this. you know what? This is going to be, this, this got a lot more strength even since that tweet, I bet, because this wasn't up this much. So, you're coming into a swing 270. 91,000, yeah, it's going to do it. You get 70,000 contracts already. So what you have is that this is a huge consolidation that we've been in. You can see December 24th, you were down at uh, 256. We got to 259 on the 7th of June. Now you get some action, you know. Um, let me see this intraday. I bet this thing pops because China's a big buyer of copper. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little where's, bit. Where's the pop? I can't see it on that chart. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> right. I mean... Yeah. No, so, and even just to, what, day, what time was, uh, yeah, 9.30, exactly. Yep. So the end of that 9.30 time bar, 10 minute bar is when uh, that tweet came out and boom, like a rocket ship. Like a rocket ship. How about Facebook? Can we pull up their chart? And uh, I know they're up almost 2%, but even intraday to see how it's reacting. I mean, pretty staggering that you have that news on Friday. You know, you get one gap, you get another gap, boom, you get another gap today. Right. You, you know, and now you did pull back today from that high of 194.53. We're down over three bucks 
from that high. Yeah. Um, so pretty remarkable. Let's let's go to Jake in Texas. Oh, we okay. lost him. Okay. He was talking about a bearish market. Okay. Not today, Jake. No. <laughs> I kid. I kid. Yeah, he might have had a question for me saying I'm. Oh, I'm sure. No. <laughs> you know, so Facebook, folks. We'll we'll get into this after the, the, the break. But Facebook, they are looking for this crypto to um, compete with the U.S. dollar. And the way that they're setting this up with the white paper is that it's actually going to be not backed by gold, not only backed by fiat. Uh, and it's going to be backed by fiat in different countries at different values. Okay. And it's going to be able to swap out. So you're going to actually be able to swap out this, these cryptos for supposedly the currencies that, you know, you're, you're basically dealing with. Well, that would make sense, as in the only reason you're going to want to buy a Libra is if you can turn it back into the currency yeah. that you actually use right. in your home country. Yes. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see where this shakes out, but I suspect it's going, to be, it's going to be good for commerce. There's no doubt about that. They're not going to compete with the U.S. dollar. The Fed's not going to allow them to do that. That's, that's, <laughs> if, they, if Facebook thinks they had trouble on, on what they have right now, let me For tell you something. Time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you think you're going to take over the Federal Reserve? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck to you. <laughs> Dow Industrials right now, 300. Nasdaq's up 137. S&Ps are up 30. Gold's up 360. You got silver up 9 cents. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year up uh, 4 ticks. 30 up for 13. Come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now up at 330. NASDAQ up 144. S&P's up 33. You know what's going to get interesting here is that it's almost like even when, when Kevin Hinks was talking with us, it's almost that Mario Draghi basically did the statement today for the Fed. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah I mean, it's, it's a close call, you know, because it's like, you know, the, the way that the market is traded right here, it's like, okay, um, you know. Well, what I found interesting, I said in the top of the hour headline, is that, you know, you have a slowdown for some of these tariffs in the trade wars, and so the ECB is going to stimulate their economy. And right. then you have Trump coming out and saying, how dare you do that, you know? So <laughs> I don't know what, uh, how, that, how that circle goes um, full circle, but... That's As in, what do you expect for him to do? You know, just like what do you expect uh, oh, yeah, Powell yeah. to do if, right. if they, you know, are even fearing deflation? Um, now, if we go over to the S&Ps, it's going to be kind of interesting out here, real interesting, really, because it looks to me that this S&P is going to go test the high because look what we have out here today. Now, granted, you know, we have light volume, but the bottom line is it doesn't matter. This B point is going to get taken out today and it's going to have volume on it the spy. It could be a good couple of days, right? You're, yeah. you're going to get stimulus in Europe. You're going to get stimulus yeah. in the U.S. You're going to get a meeting between Trump and China. Yeah. Um, that's all good for the market in terms of low interest rates, maybe some success with a, a trade deal for China. So we'll see. So watch, watch how this shakes out, folks, because this is big. 291 is your B point. 273 is your A. 18. 18 bucks, man. 18 bucks is going to get you over, uh, what's it, 97? 305. 305, and the high is uh, 294. Yeah. You know, so yep. you're, taking that, you're taking that baby out. Um, How about oil? We got. Uh, yeah, let me just look at oh, the Qs yep. first. Yep. So the Qs are doing the same thing. Yeah, especially because. 41 million, they're, they're going to have it. As I say, they're really reacting, and the whole market, Dow's up 300. But. Um, Technology, all the phones made in China. You know that meeting with Xi, especially important yeah. for the Qs, important right. for everything. But right. yeah, you know the Apple. Um, those. Yeah, there you go. You got yeah. Western Digital up six and a half percent, Micron up six percent, Nvidia up six percent, and Avgo. Yeah, Broadcom. I mean uh, Broadcom. Don't yeah, don't don't all... worry about that two billion dollars. Broadcom just shaved off their future yeah. um, yearly projections for revenue. Right. Um, because we're back up exactly. That's amazing. I wasn't even sure that would be right back up to that level. Um, so you go from 282, they come out with that revision down to 257. Snap right your back fingers, back. right back. Right back. So let's go see this. And that oil's going to bounce out here. Yeah, buck 50, right? Buck 26. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Especially because nah. we're coming into API tonight at 430. Right. Um, we'll get the EIA about 24 hours from right now tomorrow. Now that's going to need a lot more volume, though. We're only at this. I'm probably on the wrong contract. Let me. Th July? I don't know. See how, so you get 90,000 contracts. You're going to need a lot more than that. I think, I think you might be on the right one. I'm just going to check over on here as well. Ah, uh, August, they're saying over here. So yeah, that's, that's, there we go. That's, look, at, look at August, 53.70. Right, that's what, uh, right. quite a run. Even from 6.30 right. this morning, we're up two bucks on the dot. Yeah. Um, and that's four hours, two bucks on the dot. Not bad. Nope, big numbers. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities, and uh, we'll see whether we're going to get some juice in here today, but it looks like we might. You get uh, Advanced Micro up $1.65. We have uh, Beyond Meat. That's up 8 bucks. That was up a lot higher. Intel's, look at Intel, even Intel. Now, Intel hasn't moved. Intel's up $1.70. Let's go look at Look at Intel because probably similar deal as in oh the yeah the same a, a deal but yeah, any deal with China. Look at that. I mean, Intel's oh, huge, down yeah. from 90, uh, 59. No, they have some problems. And that's 18 million. Yeah, there's these are yeah. these are all small ABC structures on the way up. I mean, isn't that when they basically ceded 5G to Qualcomm? That huge drop off in April. There was some news where they were basically ceding that market to Qcom, um, as Qcom maybe made that deal with Apple. I forget what it was, but okay. Yeah. The um, let's see what else we got. Well, and, and Nvidia is up 866. Yeah, we're right. going through Tesla's. Look at Tesla five. Let's, oh, look at Apple. Apple, the market. Apple is the gainer on this. That's right, it's going to be a big one. Yeah, yeah. Those iPhones, man. You look at the numbers of the the GDP yeah. that comes straight out of, you know, phones, right. Right. computers. Right. I got an HP. Uh, I wonder how they're. Uh, I got an HP laptop straight off the HP site recently, yes. you know, a month ago. Straight yes. from China, man. That thing showed up in a box. Right. Um, right. So this is going to be pretty cool watching this, uh, particularly like say Apple, right? Because what you have here, folks, is this: they should be ABC structures on the way up. Because we already get 10.3 million shares traded. You're going into 
only 26.9. Sure. So my point is, is this, if you don't get this volume, then there's going to be a problem. Because when you can get that kind of volume in 65 minutes in the market, sure. you better follow through with that. Yeah, so this okay. is going to be pretty cool watching the rest of this uh, day shake out because okay. I don't think we're going to be done with um, the aspect of uh, how folks are going to be uh, pushing this market around a bit. Is that HP? Yeah, it is. Let's see what. Uh... Yeah, they got yeah, a nice pop. little jump too. Yep. That makes sense. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. You get the pop out there. Yeah, look at that. So that's, in, in their case, that's that's what you need. You know, you're going up to the top of the consolidation. Yeah, they're this close. Is, this is the downdraft. The downdraft was at 20, they're right at it, $20.34. Qu quite a fall off on, uh, had to be earnings over there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we, you, you, we get action, there's no doubt. Let's go to Derek in Wyoming. Hey, Derek, what's going on? Hey, good morning, guys. Good How morning, you doing, Derek? man? Hey, uh, just couple questions. I um, got your book last fall, really enjoyed it, trying to be a student of the markets. And um, Thank you. Could you confirm or help me understand if this move this morning in the in the NQ is a confirmed ABC, yay or nay, or do we have to wait for volume at the close? You'd have to wait for the volume, but you should get it. So, because what happens is this, is that if I, uh, I'm going to bring up the, the three Qs first, is that okay? And then I'll bring the futures up? Yeah, and, and the, there's just a follow-up question along with that. I'm, I'm sure you'll explain it. But where, where the swap over with the futures contracts kind of screws with the volume on my charts, I'm not sure if the Qs is the best place to get the volume confirmation or the futures contract because it just... I do both. That's okay, even great. when I'm trading the futures, that even if I'm day trading them, I keep the Qs up and I keep the spies up because they should w work the same. But what does happen on a longer-term basis it's better looking at the cues and the spies because of the turnover of contracts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So if we do that right now, what you're going to see is that your B point on the cues is 41 million. You're at 15, so we should get it. And that would mean that you know the Q that's 185.40 is your B from June 11th. Yep. Yeah. You got 169. So that's that's a monster, man. That's 70. That's what at 15 points, right? What was the high? 185.40. Yeah. yeah, 16 points. Which would get you... Uh, 198. 198, and the high is uh, 191. You know? So, so, then, so then on the futures contract, we're looking at somewhere near 8,100. Yes, let me... I'll do it right now. MQ... I think it's M. M9. And I have on this contract, you get 462,000 contracts, and we're at 117,000. Now, see, this one's going to get really interesting, man. It, as, uh, here, just, just stay with us, uh, Derek, right? Because this one is going to get interesting. Cause... Yeah, and that's about a 650-point ABC going yeah. off that low. Yeah, that's putting it about 8,070. All right. Finish it up, but yeah. That's going to be a lot tougher to get the volume in, though. Yeah, stay right with us. going to come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up 348. Nasdaq's up 151. S&Ps are up 35. We're talking with Derek from Wyoming. We're talking about an ABC structure up inside the NQs, um, which is the NDX 100. So because we are rolling, Derek, right, um, you know, we're really on the NQU. Um, rolling from that June to September, it looks like. Right. We have the September up here right on Tiger TV. If you're watching it, you can see that volume coming in. Yeah. And, um, we were looking at the June, which you can see the volume trailing off. Um, but nonetheless, that B point pretty much 74.46, and you're looking at we said from about 69.69 up to 76.26, so about what's that 650 points. So 650 off the bottom, you're looking at almost uh, 8100. Yeah. So yeah. the the key would be: Are you in the queues right now? You know, I sold some of my position this morning. I've got I've okay. got a little bit left. I'm in those uh, micro contracts you were talking about oh, this cool. morning. I, those things are awesome. Okay, nice. You know, so I would just keep my eye on the the QQQ, um, and if because that is saying that guess what? You know, it'll it'll tell you whether you're going to get the volume enough. The volume if the volume dries up, then it's like oh my god. It, I mean, it shouldn't. That's the, and most times in the marketplace, what I found out, you find out more about when something didn't happen and it should have happened. Like pretty easy, you know what I mean? So because we're at 16 million, you know. But I've seen it happen when when it doesn't yeah. happen. It's like and the bees. It was it 41? Yeah, 41.26. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like yeah. you know oh, sure, that yeah. that shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. It was a start. A lot of news at the early right. part of the day, though, so that, it, it could trail it, off with it, that type of exactly, exactly. And if we take a look at the spy, you do the same, you know, basically set up inside the spy. The spy. Now, with with the spy, what I do here, it's really a clue. I'd, I'd take the biggest number. See, so on the chapter in those ABCs. Uh, when you're looking at the volume, you'll see that I say, listen, if there's something that's really close to this B. And the volume is much higher. To be conservative, you really want to take that volume. In this case, you get a high of 288.85, and then two days later, you get a high of 291.40. I'd take that volume, the 74 million versus the 58, just to confirm that, okay, because it should do it. I mean, you're at 27 million in, you know, an hour. Sure. Um, But that's how you basically shake it out. And then intraday, you know, as you're doing these, what happens is that when you are in an, an ABC structure market, uh, you can do these intraday too, you know. I mean, you know, and 
as to taking positions off. Like when you have a day like today, Derek, what you can do is you just keep bringing up your stop just in case the market doesn't stop. <laughs> you know, you never know. So along along with this, the, the VIX futures yesterday basically at the close broke their B point, right? Am I reading that right? Oh, interesting. Okay, on the way down. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that'd be right. Let me just pull this up. I don't have volume on this, though. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't come in a volume, but it, it would have, yeah. Yes. Because that was kind of why I stood in the trade overnight. Yeah, nice. That's, that's, that's a good correlation, man. Yeah. I just, yeah, that's, that's definitely a good correlation. There's no doubt. Um, let's see if we can look here. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's always good, too, to have other correlations. I mean, they, because when they go in harmony, then your probability gets better that what you're trying to pull off you know, you, you get a better probability that that's exactly what's going to happen. Great. Cooking, brother. Hey, I appreciate it. Have a great one, man. Have a you safe too. one. Thanks, Derek. The um, MU, let me just look at this. These, these, uh, the chips are the biggest. China's going to be buying all those chips again. Oh, yeah, no, it's well. And by it, China, I mean Apple in China. Well, you, well <laughs> you know what happened? This is what happened. So, so yeah, we're going to pull up these revenues and you'll see these numbers. What happens is that, uh, oh, they don't break this one down. Here, I'll do the, what happens is that the, the plants are there. So even if we sold them, I mean, if they sell them, what you're going to see, well, not that one either. Some of these break them down. Let me see. I got to get one that breaks Maybe it down. ABGO. Uh, yeah. What you're going to see is that all the chips are made there, so they were going to get hit with the 25%. Sure. You know, that's, that's, what, that's what the number is, and that's where the, there you go. Yeah. Right. You know, 10.3 billion um, out of 22 billion for Broadcom, which is one of the biggest makers of them, you know. So, that's that's where that hit was going to come in. 25 percent of the chips, everyone's going to have to be paying a higher price. Sure. You know, all those companies are going to pay a higher price. And then the cool question is that, how much are they going to take on versus how much are they going to push on? You know, if you learn anything about corporations, folks, um, big corporations. They'll, they'll take on something to get it going, and then they're going to push it down the line. They have to, because that's just how they're run. I mean, they're, they're not a family business. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know? No, they're public companies. You always want to be maximizing profit. And so it's just always a relationship of how much we can charge versus uh, it's finding that equilibrium of supply and demand and the price you want. Um, right. Yeah, to maximize profits. Yeah. They, uh, if we swap gears for a second, I saw the in Deutsche Bank, the CEO uh, is is basically uh, looking to can the CFO, <laughs> um, and it, the thing that's amazing is that you know when you get in a bad situation, it's like you know Deutsche Bank's been going down forever. So I didn't read the whole story, but it's sure. like really you know you, now you're going to blame the CFO. Right. <laughs> Your stock's been going down for well, let's see, uh, twelve years. No, no, nine. I, I, well, let's just pull it up and see. Yeah. So. I'll pull it back 15 years. <laughs> so, yep, yeah. 12 years, you know yeah. that. Right. So, it's like, really? You know. Literally that high, actually. Pull, pull it up again. That's the monthly. So, that is, uh, oh, it was May. We're one month off. I thought it was the June. I was going to say 12 years to the month. Um, but 12 years and a month. Yes. <laughs> Pretty intense. Yeah. Actually, can we go back to Deutsche Bank? Yeah. I just wanted to see if they show his tenure. Because, you know, on the board, they'll oh, they show, will. They'll show can, your we tenure. Can find that. Yep. It'd be great Let's if he was see. around for like. I go like this. Pull it up, CFO. That's it right there. So he's only been there for 1.9 years. He's obviously the man responsible. Yeah, right. <laughs> he came in, and so let's see. He came in in uh, July of 17. Can we pull up the chart again? Just uh, July of 17. Let's see. I mean, it's been a tough two years since then. Um, is that going to load it? Yeah. Uh, where are we? No, it's not. We're still in 18. Okay, we'll go back. We're going to go. Oh, yeah, you got it, 11.50. Okay. 12, uh, 12 50 looks like right this is july 17 I think. yeah yeah so it's been a decline but amusing nonetheless yeah oh this he hasn't even been there two years i don't think in the year nine months he's been well the, the, and it's always the ceo i mean you don't think the ceo meets with the cfo to talk about right you know the cfo right. reports to somebody who do you think it is well, the ceo they're evidently not getting along i would say so so, so watch this though it's that i just realized in public you see all these people are new except 
One guy's been on the board for seven years. Look at this. CRO. What's the CRO? I don't know. Chief of Revenue Officer? Regulatory Officer, probably. There you go. Yeah, he's yeah. not doing a job either. You better uh, get rid of him. Maybe he is doing his job, and they're following the regulations so well they can't compete with all the other banks they, that don't. They can't. They, they can't. <laughs> they, they can't launder money like they've been exactly laundering money. Exactly. Right? If they're following, you know, if you're following every regulation as a bank, you're probably falling behind uh, the likes of, you know. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. It's a good quote. Yeah. That's that's a good quote. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 364, Nasdaq's up 151, S&P's up 35. We're coming right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up uh, 391. So the market's can... not stopping, no, man. No, it's not. It's not. Percentage-wise out here, what you have, you have the Dow up 1.5%. Uh, NASDAQ is up 2 and the S&Ps are up 1.2%. And uh, coming up tomorrow night, you and Steve 5 Dow. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. I look forward to it, man. I know Steve's going to be doing a... Uh brunt of that work in there yeah. in terms of explaining how he's using that scanner but all subscribers you'll be in there with steve talking about how you're using it how he uses it um the three-step pattern that he kind of goes through to identify what he's looking at and scanning the market for i encourage everybody to go check it out automated email you get it immediately with your uh license code to get everything up and running and you'll be in there for tomorrow night and uh should be a good 60-minute webinar and uh 
come on over to that order page. Watch that man, Steve Dahl, say hello to you. Yeah. And uh, he's excited for it. And this is a little video he uh, recorded just for that workshop tomorrow. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I mentioned it yesterday, the 12 videos in here that you can find right videos, on the order page. Yeah. Gives you a little bit of a glimpse before you even sign up if you want in terms of what this thing does, man. And uh, Steve could make 50 of these videos. It's got so much going on. So it's great that uh, he'll be doing a webinar. I look forward to it. People, I'm sure you have questions you use this thing. Great time to get Same in there. Time. So sign up today, play with it. That way you'll get your questions ready and you can be in there uh, asking away tomorrow night. And, and then tonight... You have a little treat, Yeah, too. we got um, the CEO of uh, McEwen Mine, and Rob McEwen's going to be on this afternoon at 3.30, folks. Uh, 3.15. 3.15 Eastern Time. Eastern Standard Time. Right so, after that first break. 3.15 yep. Eastern Time. You and uh, then uh, Silva, Silva, you know, bottom line is that just got back to the highs uh, of this morning. So this is going to be interesting watching this metal market uh, the rest of the day. Yeah, you know? right back up. Got to love it. We'll see what happens. Stay right there, folks. we got Fast Market coming up next. And we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes. we got Steve Larry Pezzavento filling in today at noon oh, as Basil. well. That's oh, right. Oh, good. Awesome, man. You got it. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, go get him, folks.